divisional round action here about to take place. Rebel Dog, Emo, about to get this thing cracking off. Big shout out to everybody here rocking with us. A uh, little bit of technical difficulty to say the least with these guys, but at the end of the day, the bottom line, and that is wrong on the top. We'll make sure we fix that right now. Uh, but bottom line, we're here for a divisional round game. And we're getting this thing underway again. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. And I do apologize. That is the correct one on the top right there. I'm sorry about that. The AFC, excuse me, the NFC Championship game is going to be taking place later on tonight at 11.30 p.m. as Richardson will get the first completion and gets a yard on the play or bring it out to a second down. So a little bit of technical difficulties going on for Rebel Dog and the Colts, buddy. Got things working, and we're here right now to see what he could do here on second down. As Richardson back for the pass here, and that's going to be incomplete. That'll bring it now to a third. So third down coming up. Anthony Richardson's regular season, 3,235 yards, 24 touchdowns. And 22 picks on the year. Let's see if he can get his first first down of the game here in this divisional. This is the final divisional game to be played as he's going to go down quickly and that'll bring it to a fourth down and 16. So fourth and 16 here at the 24 yard line. They shout out my guy Cali Buck in the building. Good to see you. We'll see Cali Buckler again later on tonight with those Buccaneers in the NFC Championship game against Mugger and the number one seeded Green Bay Packers. Number one versus number two going at it in the NFC side of things. But here come the Texans, the number one seed here in the AFC. And he's going to start the day with C.J. Stroud. 3,942 yards, 35 tutties, only 16 Picks on the year. So we'll see what Stroud could do on his first drive. He's got a bunch set to the left side of hash marks. Stroud back, couple crossers, launches it up right over the defender there to Nico Collins, and he'll get the first on the play. So first and ten. First down and 10 here at the 44 yard line. Right. And Stroud back for the pass here again. Got bumped up a little bit. Ends up getting sacked because of it. It's going to be a loss of seven on the sack. That'll bring it out to a second down. And 17 coming up. And a torn labrum for Nico Collins. Oh boy. He's out for the ball game and possibly the rest of the playoffs. That's a big loss. Nico Collins, a second leading receiver. He had 52 receptions throughout the year with 851 yards and eight touchdowns. So he is definitely a big piece to the puzzle here for the Texans. Second and 17 for Stroud. After the pass again here, launches this up corner. Route and that's picked off by Speed. Speed on his way, and he gets knocked down at the 42-yard line. So the defense steps up for the Colts. And the Colts will get the football for the second time here today. it off here to McKinnon and he'll get about two on the play he'll bring it out to a second down second and eight here at the 44 yard line Right. 
So second down and eight coming up here for Richardson. And back for the pass again. A quick out. And that will be caught by Mallory. He gets his second catch of the game. That'll bring it to a third down and five. Guys, let me know in the chat if you can hear me all right. Third down and five coming up now here at the 47-yard line. Divisional action here on Snipes TV Gaming. Again, the NFC Championship game will be played tonight at 11.30 p.m. Eastern time. The Bucks and the Packers going at it. Meanwhile, the AFC side, the Titans are already waiting on the winner of this game here. So no matter what, we are going to see an AFC South style championship game. Just got to figure out the time to be determined for it. As Sanchez is going to launch this up here, punts it out, and Robinson back there to field it, and he will field it. And gets tackled quickly at the 16-yard line. First and 10 coming up. Once again, divisional round action here on Snipes TV Game. And Rebel Dog, Ebo, Colts and Texans. Going at it here. Winner will take on the Titans in the AFC Championship. In time to be determined for that. So first and 10, RPO to the left side here for Dell. Tank Dell will get the first. So first and 10 now here at the 27 yard line. Got a packed day today here on Snipes TV. Stroud barking out the calls here and Hand it off to Mixon, and Mixon breaks through the first tackle and pushes his way forward for about a gain of six on his first carry of the game. So second and four now coming up here at the 33-yard line. So second down and four here to 33. Stretch here for Mixon and won't be able to punch it in just yet for the first. So that brings it out to a third down and one. Here at the 35 yard line. down for Stroud and hands it to Mixon. Mixon will get him the first down, breaks a couple tackles, and he is almost midfield down to the 47-yard line, new set of downs. So first and 10 now here at the 47. As once again, it continues to keep the chains moving. Texans with a solid drive here so far with 248 left here in the first quarter. off here again and gain only two and a Bruce Sternum now for Stewart for the Colts so he's out for the ball game so already here in the first quarter we got two guys out for the game kind of crazy already hitting this one Second down and eight coming up here at the 49 yard line. It's time Stroud in the gun set. Stroud back is in route there for Diggs and trying to spin his way for the first. Won't get anything going there. It's the third down and four now coming up. Definitely a battle of two young cornerbacks, quarterbacks, excuse me. As 
Stroud is back here on third and four. Launches it. Caught by Jordan. Brevin Jordan will get him a new set of downs. So first and ten. As Emo in the 15 and two Texans getting themselves a little bit closer here. Stroud again back. And a quick pass there to Mixon as Mixon will go down to the 19-yard line. It's going to give him now a new set of downs once again. First and 10 here now at the 19. Second drive here for the Texans. Find himself now in the red zone. Stroud back, quick pass outside to Dell, and Dell will go down for a gain of three on the play. He's now to a second down. So second down to seven as we get ready to end this first quarter. And that'll do it here for the first quarter between the Colts and Texans. As we start the second quarter here in the red zone for the Texans right now, Texans are 68% in the red zone. And as you can see right here for their offense throughout the 2024 season, 43 touchdowns, four field goals. Out of 69 attempts, so again, 68% of the time he will score in the red zone. Second down to seven as we start the second quarter. And hits him with the play action. Stroud, quick pass, caught by Stover. Stover can't get the conversion just yet. And I'm bringing now to a third down. It's a big question here for Rebel, man. Can he shock the world and take Emo out in this game? Here we go. Third down and one now coming up. It's off to Mixon. Mixon will not get it. It's a fourth and inches. And if I know Emo, he's going to go for it here on fourth down. I'm expecting for him to go for it here. And he definitely will. So here we go. Fourth down. Stretch play here, and a flag on the play that's going to bring it back. Ronnie Stanley with the hold, and he's going to have to settle for three now, and that is unfortunate for the Texans. So all of that to just attempt for three, and he will get it, and it's a 3 nothing ball game. So the Colts, they get a stop thanks to a hold on a fourth down play, and they get bailed out somewhat. In a packed night tonight here on Snipes TV Gaming, we have a Super Bowl taking place at 9 p.m. Eastern. As Taylor's going to get the tote here. And Taylor was injured in the divisional game, if I'm not mistaken. I believe I'm uh, – um, does anybody in the chat remember the divisional game that we had here with Rebel? Or was that the wild card game we had with Rebel? That might be the wild card game that we had. So we had the wild card game with Rebel. And I think that Jonathan Taylor was injured in that game. So, to see him here today, that's pretty impressive. So 
Taylor's going to get stuffed for a two-yard loss this time around. He'll bring it down to a second down. And 12 coming up. So second down and 12 here at the 28. Taylor with the carry, and Taylor is going to go down, and that'll bring it down to a third down and 10. So again, this Texas defense staying stifling right now. Texas have an explosive offense and a stingy defense. Top 10 across the board for both of them. Colts definitely have their hand full here on third and ten. He's on four. Keeps him inside. He's got great protection, and that's going to be a great job by the defense. Once again here by the Colts. Excuse me, by the Texans. And a fourth down and ten coming up, and it looks like the punt unit will have to give it up. Sanchez with a boot. Right there by the 30, he's gonna field it. And we'll finally get knocked down at the 32 yard line. So first to 10 coming up as the Texans get the football back. And they bring this offense back to work. Stroud and Strong. Diggs on your left side, Tank Dell on the right. Nico Collins is out for the game. with a torn labrum, which more than likely will keep him out a few weeks. So basically, the rest of these playoffs. So do not expect, I do not expect to see Nico Collins in the championship game. I don't expect to see that. It is a possibility that that can happen, but I don't expect to see it. This is the playoff, so anything can happen. Like I said, I believe if I'm not mistaken, Jonathan Taylor was injured. Uh, with a pretty serious injury, at least that's what I thought. And he's out here playing today. So, hands it off to Mixon. Mixon will get the first, and then some breaks the tackle. There goes Mixon on his way past the 30, knocked down at the 27 yard line, and a big gain for the Texans at the 27. It's solid blocking across the board. A great job by the Texans. And Maintaining their composure despite only putting three up on the last long drive. 3.30 remaining here in the first half. Good we'll counter play. He cuts it back inside, and that was a bad play. Ends up getting nothing on it because of it. So second down and 10. With the 26-yard line. So second and 10 here at the 26. Stroud again back. He's got a three-man rush. Launches it. Caught by Brevin Jordan. Another big catch by BJ. And first and 10 now here at the 15-yard line. So once again, back in the red zone. going to be incomplete as we officially have hit the two-minute warning in this one. Three-nothing ball game as the Colts have stayed afloat in this game thus far. And a second and ten now coming up. Here we go. Hey. Reverse here to Mechie. And Mechie's going to take off and there goes the game's first touchdown. So Emo will now take a 10-0 lead. A reverse play here to Mechie, the third. Great blocking. 
that is all she wrote. So a 10 nothing game. As the Texans continue their first half dominance. I can't really call it dominance. It's only a 10 nothing game, but still plenty of time for the Colts and Rebel to get back in this thing. But something's got to give real soon. First 10 coming up here at the 30. Richardson back. Good protection. Quickly gets it there to Taylor. And Taylor will get him yet another first as the clock will continue to roll. First and 10 coming up at the 44 yard line. 14 yard gain there for JT. Richardson back again. Plenty of time and he goes down quick for a loss of nine as Anderson will get in there for the first sack. And brings it now to a second down and long. So a second down and 19. A lot of time here for Richardson. And he's going to launch this up. Defense is right there to get the pick. Too much air on that football. As soon as he launched this, there was just way too much air. You got to use her that. You can't wait too late to use her that. And that is definitely an interception. Both feet are in bounds. And here comes Stroud back to work with a buck 13 left. Stroud back and he goes out, fumble on the play though, and the Colts will pick it up. Booker's gonna pick it up and he gets the scoop and score touchdown. <laughs> blessings on blessings for Rebel as he is able to get the scoop and score Tutty. Stroud can't hold on to the football. That is indeed a fumble. And Buckner able to bring it home and make the game a little bit closer. 10-7. What a break for Rebel and the Colts with a minute seven left here in the first half. Stroud back, and that's going to be caught by Mixon. Mixon will take off, and we'll get knocked down for a nine-yard gain on the play. Second and one. Stroud again back. He's going to try the corner out there, and that is caught by Diggs, and Diggums will get him another first here at the 22-yard line. Stephon Diggs just getting that separation. The second he turned that corner, that was all she wrote for Alford on that one. So with 43 seconds left, he's in field goal range at the very least. Clock is winding down quick. He's got to call timeout. Oh, he got it off just in time. And defense will get in there for the big sack. That's Indy's third sack of the game today. And a second down and 19 coming up. Big shout out to Elder Odd in the building. Shout out to everybody here in the chat, man. Rocker would appreciate everybody tuning into this one. If you are part of the OMFL, let us know what squad you are repping. And he overthrew the heck out of that one. And right now, Emo's on the struggle here at the end of the first half. Another turnover, and 33 seconds gives him plenty of time 
to at the very least try to tie this ball game up and make it a new game. The Colts defense is out here to try to shock the world. Can they get it done? And they're doing it in these last few drives. This time Richardson back to work. He's set here with Taylor in the backfield. Hits him with the play action. And defense gets it right back. Okuda with the pick. Spin cycle on his way. Steps out of bounds. And a partridge in a pear tree. Texans get the football back in the red zone. After this interception by Jeff Okuda. Man. A lot of turnovers. With 24 seconds left now. Stroud back. That's a dangerous pass. He does get the completion. And let's see if he's going to call his final timeout or is he just going to go ahead and take his points here. He's got to kind of settle down a little bit. It looks like he will do just that. Should be a chip shot, and it is. 13 to seven at the half in this ball game. Once again, the divisional round, the final divisional round game between the Colts and the Texans. Winner of this game will take on the Titans in the AFC Championship game. The NFC Championship game is already set for 11.30 p.m. tonight. As the Texans will start off with the football. This game is already set for tonight. The NFC Championship game between Cali Buck and Mugga. That is taking place tonight at 11.30 p.m. Stay tuned for that one. And then obviously we got to get the AFC Championship scheduled and ready to go for probably sometime tomorrow. Nixon with the carry here, just following his blocker. He gets a solid gain down to the 40-yard line. First and 10. First and 10 here at the 40-yard line. So first and 10 coming up. Stroud again back for the pass. Got the quick flat out there to Hill. He'll take off and he'll get another first and then some on the play down to the 37-yard line. A brand new set of downs here for the Texans. Puts him at least in field goal range already. First and 10 here at the 37-yard line. Stroud back for the pass. Quick pass outside the hill again. Second straight touch. And this time he only gets three. Second down and seven now coming up. So second down and seven here at the 34. back pass outside and that's going to be caught by Jordan and he'll get the first down on the play at the 14 yard line so first and 10 here at the 14 
Stroud. Hill gets about seven. That'll bring it down to a second and three. So the second down and three coming up. Down to three as Hill will get the carry here and looks like he'll have enough for the first down and he does. So first down and goal now coming up here at the three yard line as the Texans are looking like they're gonna punch this thing into the end zone. Pretty good on this drive. First and goal here at the three. Hands it off once again to Hill and he'll get down to the three. So that'll bring it to a second down and goal. So second down and goal. Stroud puts Brevin in motion and Brevin Jordan, he gets repaid for all the good work he has done today with another Texas touchdown, big play. Bob Brevin Jordan. So it looks like he's going to try to go for the two point conversion here. And Stroud is back, and he will get it. And once again, none other than Brevin Jordan making it a 14 point game now. He has had a heck of a day here today and looked like more of like a pick play there. Great job on the play calling by Emo on that one. So a 14 point game now, 21 to seven. The top seeded Texans up by 14. Both number one seeds in each conference still in the mix of things. it off here to Taylor and he will get stuff for a loss of three on the play. Second down coming up. No, the eye absolutely. That was a pick play. Definitely was a pick play there. But hey, those things happen. Richardson back here and he's guarding it. He guarded it from the second it was snapped. And he still decided to throw the football. Not a good look here by Rebel at all. He guarded it from the second he crossed five yards. Great job by Emo on defense. And now great field position here at the 34. Hands it off to Hill. Hill breaks to the outside. He's going to get him another first down. And finally knocked down at the 15. So red zone territory now for the Texans. And a timeout being called here. Not sure exactly what is going on. But a timeout being called right now. Let's see what is happening with this one. We'll see in just a second what's going on with the timeout. We just want to make sure if there's any things going on that we won't let people see it, obviously. All right, so we're back at it. First and 10 here at the 15-yard line. Stroud with the handoff here to Hill. And Hill will go down for about a six yard gain on the play. He'll bring it down to a second down at four. So second and four here at the nine yard line. Going 
going to hand it off again. And Hill this time is going to get tripped up. And he'll go right back and lose a bunch. Now it's a third down and 10. Obviously, if you're the Texans right now, already maintaining a 14-point lead. You don't want to force feed anything at this point in the game. Draw back. Ooh, no. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what. Left side was open. If he saw it early enough, he would have had a touchdown. And we're going to take a look at the replay in just a moment. He had circle wide open, though. Chip shot. Easy money. Pay attention here. Tank Dell. Look at Tank Dell on this play right here. That quick route, if he's able to throw it there, but he already had, he already had a Colt hanging on his back, so he was not going to be able to get that ball off, unfortunately, but he definitely had him open on that play. But nonetheless, first and 10 here at the 30-yard line. 24 to 7 lead. And he's going to roll out and wow, he just got that ball off. Wow. That'll bring it out to a second down and 10. Under a minute remaining here in the third quarter. Second and 10. Richardson again back. And launches this up. One-on-one -on -one action here. And wow, what a freaking catch. And he came out in a no huddle. Let's get back to the game. We'll look at that replay in just a second. What a catch that was. Here's the replay of that last catch. Just wow. <laughs> what a catch by Mitchell. Lost indeed. Last play of the quarter coming up. Launches it up. Corner caught by Mitchell. And Mitchell is going to pull his way into the end zone for a big touchdown. A Donnie Mitchell trying to get the Colts back in the mix of things here. A much needed touchdown. And it is now a 10 point ball game as that finishes the third quarter. Third quarter, folks. And a goodie here right now in this one. A 10-point lead now here as it's showtime and go time here at Snipes TV Gaming between the Colts and the Texans. As they're getting ready to kick this ball off here again. Fours in the chat, everybody. It looks like he's going to try the onside kick early. Interesting. That ball's high in the air, and he will maintain possession. So first and 10 now at the 44-yard line. See if the defense can step up again and get a stop here. First and 10 as Stroud comes out here in the bunch. It's like a two-high safety right now and hand it off here to Hill. And Hill will go down and gets another first. Here at the 34-yard line. Good play call. He saw that too high safety. Said, all right, let me go ahead and try to see how many yards I could get running the football. And he ends up getting a first. Keeps the two safeties back there for protection. And the drag play is not going to get there because the sack does before. And that's a big loss of the play. Second down and 15 now coming up. Here we go, 
Stroud again hits the hill. And Hill will go down and bring it down to a third down and nine. So, once again, he's still in field goal range now. Sitting at the 33-yard line. It's not a gimme type of field goal, but he is in field goal range. He can add to this lead. Can the Colts get a huge stop? This will be huge if they can get it. Launches that, and that is going to be caught for the first at the 12. It's a good high point and a new set of downs. So first and 10 at the 12-yard line. Colts can't get the third down stop. Stephon Diggs with yet another catch here today. Under six minutes left in the game. Hands it off to Hill again, and Hill will get knocked down for a three-yard game. Second down and seven coming up here at the nine-yard line. RPO to the outside there to Mechie, and he'll get knocked down at the five. So third down now coming up. So third down and three. I'll tell you, if the Colts can get a interception here, this would be a big deal. Hits him with the play action. Flats are covered, and he throws it away, and that is a smart play there by Emo. So fourth down, and the unit's going to come out and add three extra points to the equation. Tiny 22-yard chip shot is easy. 27-14, a 13-point game right now. So first and 10 here at the 30 yard line. Colts need touchdowns, period. If you're gonna beat Emo, you have to score on Emo. Second down and seven coming up here at the 33 yard line. Again here to Taylor. Taylor gets knocked down. New set of downs at the 40. Quick pass outside there to Taylor. A good cut inside, and we'll get a new set of downs here at the 39 yard line. So a first and 10 coming up. And here come the Colts. Once again, if the Colts can get a touchdown here, and then they're going to need to stop afterwards. So a lot of situation here for the Colts. That's hands it off here to Taylor again and didn't follow his blocker there. Ends up only getting three on the play. So second and seven coming up. Richardson again back. A lot of time. Quickly gets to Taylor again and Taylor looks like he may have the first but he does not. Not yet. Third and inches now at the 29. 242 remaining in the ball game. Throws it up, and that is lucky to not be picked. He had a slant wide open as well, cutting right underneath that route he just tried to throw to, and it's a fourth and inches, and he's got to go for it here. Fourth down and inches here at the 29. And we'll hand this off here to Taylor, and Taylor will get him a first. So first and 10 here at the 26.
Launches this, caught by Mallory. Mallory will get the first and steps out of bounds at the 11 yard line. 206 left in this ball game. And so far so good again here for the Texans. Up by 13, but a lot of pressure right now on the Colts. They got to score quick though and they need a big stop. And again, back quick out, caught by Pittman. Pittman gets knocked down, and that's going to do it as we hit to the two-minute warning. Second and seven here at the eight-yard line. Second down and seven. Just some back. And he is going to roll out and gets knocked down at the 10. So now a third down coming up. FYI, the first three games that were already played, the Bucks win their matchup against the Commanders 10 to 6. The Packers win their matchup by four as well, 35 to 31 over the Bears. And he's going to launch that. That is a beautiful play, and he'll punch in a much needed touchdown. So Will Mallory. And it will be if uh, extra, I mean, at this point, he's got to want to try to kick the extra point. He doesn't want to go for two here because then it'll only be a five. It'll be a five point game. So he'll still have to actually score a touchdown. So it doesn't matter what the situation is. He would have to score a touchdown. So he definitely doesn't want to play games in that regard. He needs to attempt the onside kick, see if he can get it. He's got all three timeouts remaining. So even if he doesn't get it, he still will be able to call some timeouts. And if he can get a solid defensive stop, he'll be all right. But with 125 left. So here we go. And oh man, they got it back. They got it back. They got the onside kick. This is a beautiful onside kick and the hands team just didn't do his job. He gave it right back to the Colts. And now the Colts are cooking with gas. Rebel has an opportunity to win this ball game. He has got a shot to win this game. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, this is going to be absolutely wild, to say the least. This is going to be wild. All right, let me see what's going on here with these guys. Maybe he threw a stick or something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he threw a stick or something. That could be the case. I have no idea. But all I know is, wow. That is a big wow right now. That Like, that was crazy. All right, let me see. Let me see what's going on with these guys. One moment. All right, guys, give me one moment, guys.
Okay, let's see what is going on here real quick, guys. Okay, so just so everybody that is here in the stream right now understands what happened. Go! The Colts are going to have to kneel. I believe a rule was broken about throwing outside of the numbers while running. I believe that's what the rule was. So I want to know, matter of fact, can these guys pause the game real quick? I'm just curious because I want to go back and look. I want to see exactly. Was it the last touchdown pass that that happened? Go. This is the last. Hold on one second. This is the last touchdown pass right here. Okay, so that's the last touchdown pass. So I guess I'm not sure exactly what the rule is, but nonetheless. Okay, that you can't throw outside the numbers. Okay. I okay. Okay. All right. Well, this game is about to be a wrap then. So, the AFC Championship game is going to be set. It'll be the Titans taking on the Texans. Another AFC South showdown. That'll be taking place. Uh, we'll keep you guys posted as to when that's going to happen. But don't forget tonight. Tonight. This one is going down right here. Buccaneers and Packers are going on tonight. Cali Buck Mugger is going down tonight for the NFC uh, title. And the winner moving on to the bowl to square off either against the Titans or the Texans. Uh, so again, stay tuned for that one. But this game is definitely a wrap. Well, that is going to do it here for this one. Again, the NFC Championship game will take place tonight, folks. That will take place tonight. The Texans move on to the AFC Championship game. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We got to get ready for a Super Bowl in about 20 minutes. Uh, so, again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, don't forget, 11.30 p.m. tonight. This will be the final game on Snipe TV tonight. Uh, and again, at 11.30 p.m. Eastern time tonight, guys. With that being said, it's your boy Snipes. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Take care, be blessed, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. We're out, y'all. Slide, folks. <laughs>